Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aaron Linson with Linson Productions. Do not be alarmed. I have not turned into a cyborg or anything. This device is called the Jordi. It's from Enhanced Vision and it allows me to see stuff that I would not normally see. So let's go ahead, take a look at this device, show you what's all included with it, why it is, the price that it is, and then I'll explain some practical applications with it. I hope you enjoy this video. Please comment, subscribe, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Guess what? Either way, it works for me because I get the views. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. So this is what the Geordie comes in when you first get it, or at least when I got it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this front pocket here. The nice case, I believe it's a DSLR case, but I could be wrong. So I do have the glare cover. And this glare cover just snaps on, and I'll show you what it looks like in just a few minutes. So there's some instruction booklets, this cable right in here, the small cable, is a video out cable and it uh, allows you to connect the Jordi to a TV with an HDMI and allows the wearer to s let others see what they're seeing through the Jordi. I'm gonna keep, just keep that piece out. Now, you do have a couple of pockets here, one here, and one here. I believe this is a DSLR bag, but it works for the Jordy purposes. Now in here lives all of the fun stuff. So, this is the battery pack that controls the unit but it also um, has ports for video out and in as well as audio um, through headphones brightness control um, controls for maximizing and increasing and decreasing as well as freezing and changing the color scheme and all that kind of stuff on this as well this is the battery pack plus the controller um, this is basically a CCTV or a magnifier on steroids pretty basically as easy as I can put it and yes that's BB-8 going off from my phone but I'll worry about that in just a few minutes when I'm done with this video with you guys showing you guys this so it is connected to a cable it's not that big of a deal this is the unit itself the jewelry unit itself it has a Sony um, HD camera in it it's really nice it's a really good picture from what I can tell the inside here I'm trying to show you guys this. Is that what you're looking at? Is through those screens. And I'm only looking through the first one. So I'm looking through uh, this one right here. I cannot see out of the left one. I'm looking through the right one right here. But it's up to your eyes. And with that piece, this glare piece, this glare piece would just or does just go on to here uh, it's been a while since I've put this glitter piece on but it just goes on just like that and it allows the wearer to um, not see sun glare or any glare that uh, would arise in a brighting in a bright situation so it does work uh, this 
second lens is a reading lens you just flip that up and you would adjust magnification for reading I actually have used this and still continue to use this for reading at night um, reading books tablet at night because I can and it's really really cool uh, this head strap here is actually super glued on because it kept coming off and I didn't like that so I super glued it and it's it ain't going anywhere this piece is just a, a tightening piece uh, on the back of the glasses to tighten it to your head and this, this is just a nose piece that does come off because there's a different piece a different uh, bridge piece that has a little bit more foam and I'll show you that in just a minute So in this other compartment here, we have a couple of, couple of compartments. Things you'd probably stick like SD card and stuff in. I'm not sure what this piece is. It's sort of a, 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 a square piece. Some sort of a connector. As you can tell, it's got this uh, connection part and then a different connector different connector for the other side but again I keep it just you never know you just you just never know with those things uh, always good to keep connectors pro tip and here's where all the goodies is this is for like uh, lens glasses uh, you can put actual prescription lenses in here if you did have something like that I don't wear glasses so have it these are actual little screws for this piece as well which while they're not in this bag I have no idea but they're going in that bag right now always good to keep spare pieces just like I have said for many years and still continue to do rent over this piece is just a uh, nano micro USB to a uh, regular USB port for transferring uh, either transferring images uh, or a video to a computer this is just a strap that actually would go um, the strap would actually go on top of the glasses like this but I found that that was really pushing on my head and moving these at a very weird angle and I did not like that. I may try it again just to see how it looks, but uh, I look always, uh, I already look weird enough wearing these. I don't wanna add this to the mix. Um, but that's something that I may look into in the future if I decide it is necessary. What else we have in here? I think, oh, we got that little nose piece. Where's the little nose piece? Nose piece. Here's the nose piece. piece the nose piece. Blah, blah. So this is the nose padded, more padded nose piece. And as you can tell, it's got little um, rubber or uh, foam. And, but the this part right here, the, the part that goes on your uh, on your nose is very is hurtful, especially when you tighten the um, tighten the strap. And I really don't like it, so I prefer the other rubber one because it's n nicer. And it doesn't cut into your nose as much as the other one, as this as this um, rubber rubber piece does. But it's not that big of a deal because again, always have the accessories. So that's pretty much it for the Jordy itself. What comes with it? Um, where's that strap? Strap somewhere. Here we go. Here's the strap. And uh, I'll just show you in another video what it can do and how it has helped me. And uh, maybe I will, uh, when a friend of ours comes over who we play at his church, I'll have him help me with that video because it's kind of hard to show that um, and to get a sense of what can be recorded uh, what I can see with the Jordy and trying to do it by myself. So that video will be uh, will be uh, probably 
this week or next week next week's video but this is the Jordy I can go ahead and actually I will turn it on and show you what the screens do look like what I'm seeing them from my perspective so the power button on the unit is if you're looking at it from a right to left perspective where the cable is coming at the left is basically kind of lower bottom left hold that and they do come on they do say Jordy in a white font a uh, white background it's very hard, hard to uh, very hard to get used to that I'm trying to get this strap over the camera because uh, the background is completely white with dark text and it shines in your eyes and hurts your eyes or at least hurts hurts my eyes so let me see here so that is basically what I see if you've ever seen um, VR glasses or used VR glasses this is pretty much it but just with magnification so to give you an idea and this unit itself is a is a three thousand dollar unit and um, graciously provided to me by a center for the blind because I do work and this does help I'm actually gonna try this with the uh... oh wow I keep forgetting that uh... these glare shields really do help so I feel like I, uh, if I am in frame at all, I don't have these on yet, but when I do use them to give you a clear sense of what I see and how this works for me is when I use them and I take them off, I feel very, it's a different feeling to me because it's almost like taking away my eyes um, even though I don't really have that much vision and uh, trying to find the camera with these on is pretty interesting too but uh, you really have to focus in see like I can see the camera I'll just keep it there because it flips it but um, I can zoom in to read I can zoom this out I can get in closer to with a reading you do have to get in closer so I'm getting in close and I'm seeing it's 12 I've been recording for 12 minutes and 36 seconds almost almost 13 minutes I can see the UV meter again this is not as close as what I would get as where I would get with a uh, traditional magnifier or even just trying to read it with the site that I have I can tell that my battery percentage is full so if I'm right there I can see the battery percentage I can see the picture of me this is let me angle up at me there we go I think that's where it needs to be let me see here So yeah, it's it's uh it's where it needs to be. And I'm seeing stuff. I'm seeing the camera. The camera's display. Now with the magnified view, it is very hard to get an adjustment cuz it does tend to not focus. Um, just take a little bit to focus sometimes but it can be done 
So this is just a look. I don't know, I'm trying to find the camera lens or the camera inside the camera. See, I can zoom out and I can look directly into the camera. I don't know if you guys will ever see the lens moving inside, but this is basically what they look like in somebody. Um, and I'll go through the controls and all that if you guys want to in a future video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe, comment, and like this video. If you liked it, dislike it. If you didn't, go to lensproductions.com to see all of our products and services. We have an awesome editing services for both video and audio. And we also have awesome Android tutorials for you to get started with Android. And we're going to be having a iOS audio tutorial series coming very, very soon. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep steady.